Hello everyone, N3FJZ here with more Max SSB transceiver work. Okay, here we have uh, the module number 200, which is the crystal filter. It has a bandwidth of 2.4 kilohertz and a center frequency of 9 megahertz. Okay, to see the schematic, uh, you can search my call, N3FJZ, and scroll down and look for a link to Circuit 6040 Homebrew Ham Radio. Click the link for the Max SSB transceiver. And on the left side, scroll down to find Module 200 Crystal Filter. And there you will find the schematic and the layout. Because the crystal filter is such a critical part of the transceiver, I decided to uh, order a, a crystal filter kit from InRed. And there's the website link there. Um, and what they do is they supply you with the uh, matched set of crystals and the capacitors that would be necessary to build the filter. And it's up to you to actually lay it out and put it on a uh, circuit substrate and then you'll have to wire the transformers uh, there's other sources uh, of crystal filters that you can find online or of course if you have the experience of building your own crystal filter from individual crystals uh, certainly that would be an option as well but if you've never done a crystal filter before or even if it's just a first uh, assembly of a transceiver uh, for the modest price uh, it eliminates a lot of guesswork and you know for sure that the crystal filter would not be a problem if you had uh, if your radio didn't work or you had some problems so it eliminates one of the possibilities for your first build Here's a close-up of the actual build. I make little subboards for the toroid transformers. Everything else is Manhattan-style construction. And it's built on a tin-plated steel sheet, which, uh, for me, it makes sense. But the traditional way, of course, would be to build it on a blank PCB copper-plated uh, blank circuit board using Manhattan construction or uh, you could even design build your own uh, printed circuit board for it. For testing, I'm going to wire this into my existing uh, transceiver here with an AB switch and uh, be able to switch it back between the, uh, the original crystal filter on the uh, transceiver, the existing transceiver, and the uh, new crystal filter just for a sanity check. Now, of course, for a real valid test, you'd want to put the crystal filter on a a VNA or spectrum analyzer to see what the shape of the filter is. But for this quick test, I'll just use an AB switch. Okay, I have the uh, Module 200 crystal filter tack soldered onto the existing transceiver here. And I have an AB switch that will be able to switch between the existing crystal filter and the, uh, the new Module 200 crystal filter. I mean, really, you, if you if you put it into a demographic aspect, right, and say certain uh, situations where there's people the, can't uh, afford new filter to, uh, to have stream or, or this particular channel, there's the existing or this filter or whatever service, 
and all they rely on is their AC antenna outside the window, and they get the 40 right, the over-the-air free TV, which is mostly digital HD now. Can't see that debate. Uh, that, right, it should be on a main network, ABC, CBS, NBC, one of the three, prime time, 8 o'clock, not on some CNN or Fox or whatever, you know, MSNBC channel some people can't get. Schedule is this week, so. All right, uh, North Carolina, KO468, Daryl, one more. Good luck hunting today. KA1W, KO4SX, well, you know, Dave, uh, I'm convinced I need to go back and study and be a proctologist, over. Sorry, say again, you're, you're, you're ready to go back to what? I need to go back and study to be a proctologist. <laughs> Uh, it's going to see about an 86, I think it is, or something like that. Anyway, and there's more, and there's rain coming eventually. Uh, we don't know when, but uh, eventually. December 24th. Uh, the diameter of a golf ball. <laughs> I told him, I said, I don't think that's going to keep the uh, vampires away. Yeah, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer and grow them a little bit. Okay, so to my ear, uh, there's no difference between the two, so uh, I must have wired everything correctly. And, uh, okay, another module completed. I'll put, in a, put this module in my lineup of modules and uh, be back soon with another completed module for you. Keep homebrewing. Have a great day. 7-3, everyone. N3-FJZ. Okay, here are the modules I've completed so far. And hopefully soon, I'll be able to build this into a complete rig. Again, 7-3, everyone. Have a great day. Keep building. And we'll see you with the next module.